Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. Today, I'm starting with my Tough Text and Betalitex balloons to give you this tutorial on balloon ropes. So, eventually, I'll compare the two balloons so you can kind of see the difference. But you pick your balloon brand of choice and run with it. We're going to start by inflating all of our five inch balloons when you're buying your balloons make sure you check how many come in a pack because some of the balloons have 50 in a pack and some have a hundred so if you are not able to estimate the size of the balloons then you can use a balloon size i'm inflating them to about three and a half or four inches you really need the balloons to be close enough in size or pretty much the same size for this look to come out well and nice so make sure you're eyeballing taking the time to re-inflate where you need to or deflate more where you need to so that it comes out even i kind of already know how i the size i make for my fillers so it makes it a little bit easier for me to be able to estimate my size now these tough text balloons are a little bit harder to inflate than the other brands especially these five inch balloons when you inflate sometimes they're pretty tough and they don't stretch as much and don't inflate as you can see i have to pause a second and if that happens quite a bit with your balloons all you have to do is kind of tug on the very top while you're trying to get air in the balloon and that will help the balloon stretch out and inflate better so the design i'm going for is going to go on that backdrop behind me when i initially designed it my base garland back there has all blue balloons the same color and because i use that shimmer wall as you can see there the top the betalitex is a lot stretchier than the tough text and a lot easier to inflate eventually i'm going to use all the balloons but i showed you you can see there's not that big of a difference in the color so they work pretty well together so i used that shimmer wall behind me and i decided to create the design as though the black balloons are coming out of that shimmer wall around my blue garland but later as I was as I took a break I thought it would be good to have a tutorial where you do two colors instead of one just to give it another dimension another look to the design so that's why you see me inflating some five inch balloons in the blue and we have all those inflated now I'm going to show you how I use 260 Q balloons to assemble the balloon rope so bring you closer when you have the 260 Q they come partially inflated so you want to find the end that is closed hold down and just pull through until you get to the open end this makes the 260 Q flat and a lot easier and stretchier to work with so it ends up being like a stretchy rope so you can see the ones that I haven't inflated compared to the ones that are inflated laying flat so that's what you're going for you just want to hold and press down till you get to the open end so now you have your pair you're going to tie that one end double knot it so that it gets you started on assembling with assembling you're going to create a crisscross fashion so you're going to put one balloon crossing over the other and then wrap your 260 Q around now you do not need to do a figure eight method of wrapping here all you need to do is make sure you wrap it around the previous balloon that you did and when you're short on the 260 Q just grab another one and tie to that end do a double knot and continue assembling that way so you can see where I just wrap with the previous one put the new one and wrap it back around to the previous ba balloon that I had attached already that's all you need to hold it in place it doesn't take much but the 260Q you have to be very careful 
because it takes up quite a bit of the 260Q. So you don't want to pull too much on the 260Q. If you do that, you end up with a cluster rope instead of one that is nice and aligned. So be very loose with it. Don't pull or tug on the 260Q and this creates your design. Now you can go as long as you want. I did that first one and I decided to add some more because I have one middle rope that is longer than all my other ones on the garland. So I decided to add these, but I think approximately 18 pairs of five inch balloons are what I use for the regular balloon garland. And at the end, you just want to find the neck of the balloon and double tie so that you have this piece here, which you can use to tie it onto the garland and if you don't want to use that piece you can use uh, you can use rubber bands or 260Q. So now we're going to do the next design but I'm going to show you this method with fishing line. So I'm alternating the blue and the black in the same crisscross manner. Again you can see clearer with this than the black one on how I design it. You want to make sure when you wrap that 260Q or the fishing line around the balloons, you want to make sure that it goes to the center of your balloon rope. So you wrap it around, make sure it's not hanging just on around one of the balloons. Make sure when you wrap it around, it forms right in the middle of the balloon and holds everything in place. So you just keep adding and I'll show you here how I tie. You cut your 260Q and then you want to wrap it around your hand and then pull it through and pull. So I'll come closer here so you have that. Wrap it around your hand and the balloon you're trying to tie it on then grab that end and pull. So I'll do it one more time. Wrap it around your hand, the balloon and grab it and pull. So that is how you end the balloon garland. You can also leave enough slack on the end of your rope to use that fishing line to tie it onto your garland but i find that the rubber bands are easier because i can put the rubber bands not just at the end but anywhere further in the rope to put it exactly where i need it to be so i'm taking some time now to assemble more of the ropes they take up quite a bit of balloons but i notice that a lot of you watching the videos are not subscribed so if you would please click that subscribe button like the video share it really really supports my channel and i can continue to create more and more content for you guys to learn and grow and just if you have any videos that you would like to see please leave the suggestion in the comments below and i'll do my best to create those videos for you like i said these balloons take up these this rope takes up quite a bit of balloons so i'm assembling more balloons here so that i can create more of the ropes because i do want about seven ropes for this backdrop because the backdrop goes all around and of course i'm going to seven show you total. this is the longer black one i have three one two actually wait yeah one two three one two three i was short on that i'll tuck it towards the back so that it completes that black and then i have three one two three of the two colored ones so i'm gonna hang that it was hard for you to see all this on the floor so i wanted to show you i also did these as accents but i'll see if i need them or not or if this will be enough to just complete the look so let's get all this attached we're gonna use rubber bands so you want to take the rubber band wrap it around your balloon twist and then you'll find one of your balloons on the garland and just put that through there and that's how you attach it now this was long enough that I did not need to put it at the very end I put it probably on the fourth pair of balloons from the rope so that's what I have there 
And what I'm doing now is pretty much repeating the same thing on the opposite end of the rope to attach it down. You can see I'm going to point this out now because later it might be harder for you to see. The end of that black one at the top looks like it's going upwards. I'll have to fix that later on in the video because I really want the balloon to look like the rope to look as though it's coming out of the shimmer wall and wrapping around the garland and back into the shimmer wall. So you can see the black one I put on the left side, that's exactly the look I'm going for. Now these turned out okay. If I had to redo the design, I probably would do all black and not do the two-tone color that I did because it just makes it more uniform. But again, this is also a good way to learn two methods of how you can do the balloon. Another option is you could do half black like this one I'm holding right here. You can make it where it's even half of the rope black and half of the rope blue so it's up to you i'm attaching this using fishing line just wrapping that around and later on i noticed that i put this on the wrong way remember i explained that i wanted it to look as though the rope is coming out of the shimmer wall wrapping around so eventually i'll change that now this particular rope gave me a little bit of trouble because of that 17 inch balloon you see right above it right there so now i'm trying to readjust it because i don't like how bulky it's looking on that right side then eventually as i try to fix it i end up creating more of a mess and i end up spoiling the alignment of the blue balloons you can see i'm trying to fix it here and everything is just out of place the more I try, the more I mess it up. So you can see me struggling here a little bit. It keeps on going, keeps on going. Okay, we're back again trying to fix the whole alignment and it's still not working. I try, think I fixed it here, but walk away and then realize not quite. So I go back to these to make adjustments. And I'm coming back again to figure out how I can get it done. But eventually I decide to then change my other garland. I'm just adjusting everything. Remember how I talked about your balloon either looking organic or looking straight? Based on that garland at the very top, the black one in the middle, that is more of an organic look. When it twists around, it becomes kind of that organic look compared to your other black ones that are nice and aligned. So I told you I had to switch this back around. So I'm using the rubber bands to turn it around so that it looks as though it's coming out of that shimmer wall. And this one, I decide to just take it off and redo the alignment on the floor. Sorry, I didn't pay attention to the fact that the camera wasn't capturing that bottom part, but I'm just straightening it all out and then repositioning everything so that it's easier. You have the 260Q that was at the very end. I'm going to use that to wrap around the balloon so that it's nice and straight and actually came through to the front of that rope and we're doing the same thing on this side. That wasn't long enough so I'm just gonna use a rubber band to secure everything in place. Now you can't use the rubber band around the 17 inch balloons because they're not stretchy enough to go around. You, I, you end up snapping them so keep that in mind when you're trying to position your filler balloons or your rope so I like how that's going upward it just gives it a nicer dimension and straightens out the garland on that right side so we are pretty much done here I am fixing that piece I was talking to you about that I want to look as though it's going round not just going upward so I'm making adjustments here so that it can hang go wrap around and then look as though it's going around the garland so that's what i'm doing here and we are pretty much done stay tuned to see the final design not 
gonna add these anymore. I think it looks perfect the way it is because this will just create too much distraction and clutter. So we don't want clutter. So I'm done. I'll show you the final look.